hello and welcome in this video i just walk you through a very interesting topic with respect to system verilog and the topic is threads now in case of verilog we already work on thread called begin end and fork join so whatever which is declared inside the begin end execute sequentially one by one whereas the logic which is declared inside a fork join block will be executed parallel or concurrent okay now in this video we will try to see what are the different versions included in system verilog and the new two versions are added here in system verilog called as fork join any and fork join none now very interesting we will try to see a little bit of theory and after that we will try to put those theory into practice with very simple example so that you will remember the concept forever okay before moving to this let's have a discussion what the fork join fork join none and fork join any is all about okay let me show you a picture so that you can easily understand the concept now observe this picture whatever declared inside this fork join referred as a child threads okay and whatever which is declared outside of this fork join referred as par parent thread okay so the concept of fork join is very simple whatever which is declared inside of this fork join is child threads okay so this fork join will block all the parent threads until this child threads executed okay now after executing this child threads only parent thread which is declared outside of this fork and join will be executed okay now see this is what a fork join n inside this if the child which has a least delay will execute first and after that the parent thread is started to execute okay so any one child thread which has a least delay will execute and after that parent thread will execute and internally all other threads executed on the other hand fork join none is there so it will run all the child threads internally and execute the parent thread without waiting any child to be completed okay very simple we will try to put this concept with the uh, with examples so that you will remember the concept for now let's take an examples this is what a fork join let's take a simple class inside that we are declaring a method task display and we are giving any random delay here okay and we are just displaying the message this is a class abc and we are printing a time okay very simple let's take an another class class xyz this this uh, display a task task display and we are giving any random delay and we are just displaying a time with the help of dollar time inside the top we are declaring instance of the classes both classes and within initial begin we are allocating a memory it is must without this class is not usable okay now this is what a parallel thread begin of oh, sorry fork join inside that i am just calling display methods these methods with the help of objects okay an order doesn't matter inside this so this called as child threads okay and i am just displaying all child threads are completed one display message so this display message is a parent thread so what we are expecting that 
this installer display there is no any delay so that it will execute at zero time but this is not the case first this child threads will be executed and after that only this dollar display will execute okay so we will see by running this code what the output we are getting okay go to transcript and give very long file name okay wait for some time now see the output we are getting this is a child class we are dis uh, it is displaying at three time unit because we have mentioned three time unit delay here and after that this five time unit okay and then only this dollar displays execute even though zero uh, we are declaring this at zero time right so after completing all the child threads it will displaying after this five time unit okay so this is what the concept of fork join all first it will execute all the child threads after that this parent thread will be executed now we will try to see what happen if we make this as a join any okay now any one child thread will be completed which having least delay after that this parent thread will be executed and after that all other threads child threads will be executed okay let me put a command and we will see the output now see this is a class abc so the thread which having least delay executing first after that that parent thread and after that the other child threads schedule to execute okay now if we put none here so that first this parent thread will be executed after that the child threads schedule to execute now observe the output see the child thread this is what the dollar display all child threads are completed but we are getting this display at zero time right so this is what the parent thread execute first after that all child threads scheduled to execute so this is what a very simple concept of the threads different threads with respect to system variable fork join fork join any and fork join none so with this i hope you have understood the concept of different threads and also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thank you